Praise the Lord. Greetings from Gideon's Army of Worship. We have a program called 3C Meditation during this Lent days where we meditate on Christ, cross and Calvary. I'm glad to share with you and some of the meditation thoughts that God has put into my heart. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the five inheritances created or framed for mankind. Jesus Christ came into this earth not to form a religion or not to form a sector or not to form a group, but rather he wants to create five inheritance on the cross of Calvary. Today, man is rushing to make inheritances in many ways. He's rushing to make fame, popularity, money, house, cars, and all these material things. One day is going to leave him. But it is unfortunate that many are not aware of this. They spend the whole lot of their life to go and create these inheritances. Bible clearly says, if a man can win the whole world, but if he lose his own soul, what is the gain for him? That's where I want to talk to you about today. The five inheritances which is inevitable for us to enter into the, the plan, the purpose of God. This five inheritances are going back to this, the, the, the five challenges that the man faces has no difference at all. There's no caste, there's no creed, there's no religion, there's no money factor, there's no color, there's no nation. There is no any difference for this. Whoever has come into this earth as form of mankind has to face these five challenges in the life. But many are unaware of, of this. It is very, very unfortunate that they don't know that these are the things that they have to overcome and inherit the five things that was created to annihilate this. My dear brothers and sisters, my dear friends, think for example, if my grandfather has secured and saved 3 crore rupees in a bank account which is not known to me, I am not aware of it. At a point when I am in need of 10,000 rupees, I go in search of who can help me. I run door to door, post to post, who can help me for this? Because I am not aware the biggest inheritance or the savings that has been saved in my name. Likewise, is the mankind today, they are not aware or they are not trying to know about what are all the inheritances that are saved and secured for them. And that's why they are going and toiling into unnecessary things which they are not going to inherit at all. I'm going to explain this five inheritances in a very, very simple way with your five fingers of your hand. So before I speak about the five inheritances, let us look into the, the five challenges that the mankind has to overcome. Are there the five challenges which the mankind has to overcome in order to inherit the inheritance of God? Just raise your hand and see your fingers, the five fingers. The first one is sin, second one curse, third one sickness, fourth one poverty, fifth one death. My dear beloved, 
youngsters, young bloods. Just look into this thing. These five things, do they have any differences? Do they have caste? Do they have creed? Do they have religion? Do they have money? Do they have any color? There's no difference at all. To anybody, to everybody, these five challenges creeps into them. These are the ones stops mankind to receive his eternal inheritance. Jesus Christ came into this earth to overcome all these things. Or in order to you to be a overcomer, in order you and me to be the inheritor of all the things that he has saved and secured for us, he has crossed and crucified all the five things on the cross of Calvary. First Peter 2.24 we read like this, he bore our sins in his body on the cross of Calvary so that we might be dead to sin and raised for righteousness. So he counterfeit sin and he made righteousness. That's why in Romans 3.24 we read through his blood to the redemption in the blood of Jesus Christ we are made righteous and this is done freely for us. And the great thing is this is done freely my dear friends. The second one we read in Galatians 3.13 and 14 he became cursed so that we can inherit the inheritances or inheritances of Abraham, the blessings of Abraham. The third one, he took all of our iniquities, he took all of our pain, agony, sufferings so that we are healed by his stripes. He took all our sicknesses. He created the healing through his stripes. 2 Corinthians 8, 9, we read like this. Through his poverty, we are made to be rich. Though he was rich, he became poor. So that we can be rich through his poverty. And the fifth one. In Hebrews, second chapter, 13 and 14, we read like this. He overcame the master of death, Satan, on the cross of Calvary, so that he can deliver people from the fear of death. What a great God we have. What a great Jesus we have. How much we need to be grateful to him. How much we need to be thankful for him. Because he loved us. He created this five inheritances freely. Freely. When I was meditating this, I was so, so happy. I just took my fingers, hands, the five fingers, which shows the challenges. Sin, curse, sickness, poverty, death. The counter for this, for instead of sin, he created righteousness. Instead of curse, he created blessings. Instead of sickness, he created healings. Instead of poverty, he created richness. And fifth, instead of death, he created life and life abundance. What a great God. It's counterfeit. My dear friends, my dear youngsters, if you are ignorant and if you are not aware of this thing, you and me will be a great loser because Jesus created all these things for you and me to inherit it and enter into his divine plan of eternal life. In the days to come, I will be explaining 
one after the other challenges. How we crucified, crossed that on the cross of Calvary. And how we created the inheritances. And now we can receive it. It's all simple. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that Jesus Christ, whosoever believeth in him, shall not perish but to have eternal life. Just be a believer. Just have faith in him. Through faith, you can inherit all these five things. God doesn't ask you. He doesn't claim you to do many great things. Or he doesn't give you troubles. Or he doesn't give you difficult tasks for you to inherit this thing. It's very simple. Jesus has already done enough for all these five things. So that you and I can just believe in them. Just have faith in them. And inherit all these inheritances. May God bless you with these blessings. See you in the next video. God bless you.